If you're like me, you might have seen this icon pop up on your Microsoft Edge browser and totally ignored it. So if I click on this icon, it opens this panel. First up, you have chat. With chat, you can ask a question such as, how do I set up MFA on Microsoft 365? You can even choose a conversation style. And once I've hit send, it will start producing an answer for me. And you can see that I've asked quite a complex question. So it's given me a step by step. It's even given me some links and a video as well. It also has suggestions of further questions that you can ask and you can obviously reply and ask any additional questions too. So next to chat, you have compose. And here you're using it to produce copy rather than asking a question. So here I could ask it to write a congratulations message. There's a range of tones that I can select for this and you can also format it. So am I looking for a paragraph, an email, a blog post or ideas? You can then choose your length, so short, medium and long, and you can generate it. Now, once you've generated that copy, you can go back and make tweaks as well. And it will even offer suggestions so you can change the tone, you can make it shorter even has an option to add a joke, so we'll see how that comes out. And again, once you've generated it, it'll give you further options. You can even go to your previous draft and you can also copy that text. What's also handy is that if you've got Outlook or Word open, you can just press this Add to Site button and it will paste the copy directly onto that document or that email. So next up, we have Insights. And this gives you more information about the website you're currently on and will also share related content and sites. So let's say I wanted to go for breakfast and I'm thinking of going to Cozy Club. So I'm on the Cozy Club website and you can see my insight page has refreshed. So here it's giving me related contents, the TripAdvisor page where I could look at reviews. It's also suggesting I look at the menu as well. Further down you have a rating for the site. So this actually doesn't have any ratings yet, but I could say it's a high quality website and it's trustworthy and that will contribute to their rating. Additionally, at the bottom, you can also see other information about the site, such as traffic and visitor information and other sites that people visit as well as Cozy Club. Now, before we move on and look at the sidebar, I'm just going to show you how to get rid of Bing chat completely if you've decided that it's not for you. So to remove it, you go to the more options at the top here and then notification and app settings. It will open straight into the settings and you can just remove it by clicking these buttons. So next up we have the edge sidebar. Now you can open and close this whole window by pressing the Bing button, or you can keep it open at all times with this slider at the bottom. So my sidebar started with these three icons. You have search for doing web searches, Microsoft 365, which when signed into Edge using your Microsoft Business account will show all your recent documents and allow you to easily open other apps on the web. And then you also have an Outlook app sat here. So the Outlook app will open your Outlook on the sidebar. This is great so that you don't have to keep going back and forth between your email and your browser. Another great thing I want to show you about this is if I'm in Outlook and I have this email open here, if I click on a link that someone has sent me, the source email that the link came from will then open in the sidebar, even if I don't have it open. So that's another great feature that I absolutely love. It just means you don't have to keep going back and forth again. Lastly, on the edge sidebar, there is some customization. So you can press this little plus button. A great one my colleague Dean showed me is tools. So if I flick this slider across, it will add to my sidebar. And when I open tools, it just basically has a bunch of handy tools. So you've got your calculator, unit converter, you've also got a dictionary, and you can also customize this by adding the relevant tools for you. You've also got great integration with OneNote as well, so you can take notes as you browse. And additionally, at the top here, you can also add certain websites for quick access on the sidebar. So if I added LinkedIn, I'll be able to access my feed on the sidebar at all times. And so that is a quick look into the Bing Chat and Edge sidebar.